Hello, everybody. Happy Sunday, hopefully, for all of you out there. Uh, just gotta do a little bit of this. <clears throat> there we go. So, yesterday, my throat was poopy. The cold weather means that the heat runs in the house, and if it's running overnight, for a long time, it dries things out, and I dry out, and I wake up, and I'm like, just a little piece of beef jerky. So, that really made my throat not the best. Hurt every time to swallow. And my internet is still not super reliable, which is stinky poo-poo. And I was just testing things yesterday and I was dropping a lot of frames which sucks and I'm hoping it's better today I think it's better today I just need it to hold out for a little bit while we go do our thing changed up my outfit a little bit I don't know if this is better or worse than what I was wearing I just tried to find something that I thought might be a little bit better moving forward. Still got a certain equip load there so I can roll fast. I changed my rings up, which is pretty important. I got rid of the one that gives me more souls, and I put this one on. I use Spook a lot. The spell, Spook. So I thought, what if I just used the ring? that had that same effect. That way I could just always be quiet all the time instead of having to cast the spell. So we'll see how this works out for me. You won't hear my little pitter-patter of footsteps as I go all around, which you may be upset about. So I know where to go now. Turns out there was a a lever that I just totally overlooked. You hear this? There's like something that's broken off in my controller, which is weird because that sh controller doesn't really get a lot of use and it's not like I throw it around or anything. Those days are long behind me. I'm no longer a little rage boy. So we gotta get through just a few enemies, hopefully without too much difficulty here. Oh, and before I forget, I want to switch my covenant back to Sun Boys. I was trying to see what kind of activity there was with this game after all this time, and... I was not getting a lot of a lot of multiplayer going on. In this area, I there's some of like the Aldrich Faithfuls that pop up. And you can sort of sometimes get some invasion stuff going, but I couldn't really get much in the way of co-op here. I'm hoping that that changes as I get a little bit further on. My soul level is pretty high at 86. So maybe once I get to some later areas, I will find better better connectivity for jolly cooperation and whatnot. Hopefully I can get up this ladder without any real problems. They're not so much chasing me as they just kind of remember I'm there and we're flinging fireballs. I don't think they can climb anyway, so we have, I think, one, maybe two enemies up this way that we have to try to deal with. Thank you. 
super easy. Always being a little sneaky boy. So that's really, really good. <laughs> okay. So we'd come in here and we went in, I think, down this way to get married. Sort of. <sighs> and over this way. I got this. What does this say? Lever required ahead. Here's the lever. Totally did not see that. So this whole time, I didn't know where to go. I figured there was supposed to be some sort of progression from this point on. I just did not see it. Because this is supposed to be like we're heading to Anorlando. We're right... We're in Anorlando's vicinity. This is the Dark Moon Chamber and everything. From the first game. So we brought this down. I wonder exactly how much of this is going to be familiar. And Orlando was an abandoned area by the time of Dark Souls 1. I wonder if anybody kind of went for it and took up residence here at some point. If anything would have been changed. This is interesting, though, because Anorlando, it was very much like the Sunshine City. It was all about the sun. And now here we have... I think that's the moon. Or possibly some sort of eclipse, but... I just... It's interesting to see this in a literal new light. Ooh, we got a bonfire right here. That's excellent. Yeah. And Orlando. Gonna light that bad boy. And now I'm gonna actually head back down and see what the situation is like here. We're going to play with these stairs a little bit before I actually make any proper progress. So this does not connect to anything. There's another bonfire over there, though. How would we get to that? We work our way up this tower. Interesting. We'll see. So we have one way to go. This looks very familiar. But before we do that, I do just want to double check the other state of these stairs. This does bring us down closer to that bonfire, but it's still no connection. I'm pretty sure that's not one I would have been to before. In this state, I'm, yeah, don't think there's anywhere to travel. So now we'll bring it back up, and we will see what this place has to offer us. Probably lots of death, is my guess. Lots and lots of death. No death ahead, sure. Let's try ranged battle. I saw at least one person, like, over here. There they are. I don't think I see anybody on the other side. A 
Okay, so we're not going to really get anything there. I think I... I think I know where that rattling was coming from. My R1 button feels a little squishy. That's not good. That's the attack button. Okay, you got good, good range. But I got good, good backstabs. Oh, that was an unexpected follow-up. Don't move, jerk. Seem to have a pretty high drop rate. But I am way beyond Titanite shards, so I don't know what what the deal is. Yeah, this is An Orlando. Same layout and everything, huh? Still have some knights hanging out. I think the blacksmith is gone. Yeah. Oh, is that him? Oh, that's sad. Yeah, oh. Giant's coal, so we can hand that to uh, Andre. dark in here, huh? So we are high up above that main hall. Deacons are still here. And by still here, I mean that we are still facing deacons, even though we should have left them behind. There's a big fog door. I wonder... feel like I want to get down there to open those doors. Before we do that, I got to deal with some guys up here. Okay, this is bad. This is real bad. I can't...
there's a lot of guys. Doesn't seem like the best. I mean, I, I, it does seem like the best. I just wish I was doing more damage. Oh, you forgot you move position because I hit you too hard. Not one more after that, then. There we go. Still can't hit me. This is a bit better on the damage. Two dead. Now we got two there. Don't think this is going to work out for me, though. Yeah. Only I had like some grenades or something I could just drop over the side here onto them. Coin dregs. Proof of something I didn't fully read, but it's okay. that trade wouldn't go in my favor. So we have that there. Is it just one or is there more? I think it's just one. But I want to go around and see if I can some better views on things. It's 
It's all about strategy. All about being aware of your surroundings. Okay, so there's one there, two... Is there a third? No. There might be further up. I don't think so, though. So we got two. Oh, there are three. And that was totally unexpected. I did not see that coming. Okay, magic doesn't seem to be a big issue for you. can chip away. Just trying to use this pillar for cover against the beacon. Just taking it easy. Very nice. I have a feeling I know what's behind this. A big old blobby fella. think that you would get that. Okay, they are... Oh, okay, I am seeing them now. Yes, this magic is not... That's all right. Little whittle away. So far, so good. can't get the best view of oh hello wait wrong button 
Don't like that. Okay. Don't like that at all. How are we going to take care of this situation that we're in? I want to open the door. Don't think I can get a good... Oh, we can. Possibly. Very good message. So now what do you do? Don't like. I really don't like. Okay, that was... Poop my pants a little bit there. It's fine. Just, uh... Okay. Please never come back. Aldrich's... Ruby? Takes a little while for them to fall. I was hoping that by moving around I'd be able to prevent them from landing on me, but I might end up going back into their drop zone. I wonder about something. That's not bad. That was not bad at all. Because they move slow and I can kind of keep them in an area by circling around. That's, that's not bad at all. was good. This, uh, I want to just not hang around in front of at the moment.
It's I'm 99% sure that's a mimic because of the way that the lighting is interacting with it, but... Maybe I'm mistaken. I... Still, something is not feeling right. So I'd rather use one of those and just make sure. Very good. Are those your footsteps? Didn't think you were big enough boy to be making such loud steps. Should be able to get a nice back step on, on them though. Just wait patiently. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. That was a beefier hit than I was expecting. Alright, first death, about a half hour in, that's not bad. We already made some good progress in, in getting set up for this area. Are there still going to be... Yeah. Oh, fudge. Proof of conscript something? I keep going too fast. Proof of Concord kept. So that's one of the um, covenant items. Which are going to be a real joy to get because there's not a lot of activity anymore. Maybe I'll manage to make something work, but... With the Covenants, it's very... You tend to farm items by doing things for those Covenants, which most of the time are through online invasions or co-op, things like that. 
So with the community kind of quieted down, let's say. It's harder to make that happen. So they do have low drop rates on certain enemies at certain points in the game that you can farm that way. It's just kind of sucky to do that. This door open does not from this side at least. Well, we didn't get very far before we faced our a boss here. I was hoping to see a little bit more, but I think we're coming at, at Anor Londo from maybe a different angle where we'll, we will be able to explore a little bit further on. Hopefully. Things to give to Andre here. Ah, is good. What needs? My my, the cold of that peaceable giant seems like ages past. I imagine his passing was. The old bugger right. My thanks. I'll be sure this coal is put to good use. I'll be smithing weapons never before seen by the likes of ye. It's but a small service to pay my humble respects. <laughs> So now what do you... Oh, uh, infuse we want. Let's see what you offer. I'm tempted to try to get something with fire. What do we got? We got fire and chaos. Fire is a flat thing. Chaos scales. this works out for us and let's spend the rest of these souls down more of these. Homer bones were good on uh, 
Oh, expensive, huh? I'm just trying to think if I want to use one of these things to apply something to my weapon. I don't have to buy them right now, at least. See if there's any other stuff I want to pick up. So we can experiment with what we got, and if something seems to work, we can come back and buy more. Sound like a plan? I hope so. Please tell me that that big thing is gone for good. I would assume, but you know how that can get somebody in trouble. Can't seem to get the back staff. Oh, this is bad. Yeah, we're just we're just gonna die here now. It's fine. How I survived, I don't know, but we did use three Estuses, so. We will. We'll try this again, hopefully with a little better result. That was an unexpected follow-up. Okay. But it's good, we're right here, we got the bonfire, it's all fine. There we are. That's pretty clean. We're also getting some Silver Knight gear. Okay, so the big concern for me is going to be the deacons that are in front of that fog gate.
We got ones on the stairs that are going to be throwing stuff at me. I got to get up in there to avoid the fire from over here. Three of these guys. Oh, and then we got people on the ceiling. I'm just going to YOLO it. Okay, just hoping I could knock you down before you did something stupid like that. Okay. Not bad. We'll use one Estus before we go into the fight. Actually, no, we'll use an ember to see if there's anything to summon. That'll also give us a nice health boost. Don't see any summons within this area. Hopefully you guys don't like stairs very much. Oh, you came down to say hello. Okay. This is why I was interested in the fire. Holy crap, fire's awesome. So if Aldridge is like a blob slime thing like this, and these guys really don't like fire... You see what I'm getting at? I'm hoping that this is... This is good. Dark sup? What happened? Oh, you're not a blob. I don't know what the hell this is. What the... So let's see how this does. Oh, if I can get in. So that's like 50 something a pop. So that happened. You're... Wait, whoa, hold on, hold on. I just saw your face. That's... Okay. I don't know how much I want to say about Dark Souls 1, but that is a face from Dark Souls 1.
And did you have anything for me? You did. So I think this sword's gonna work out a little bit better. I just need to figure out what this fight is gonna be. That rain of arrows was not I can fire, and this sword isn't too slow. Get my blood stain, please. Thank you. Okay, 144 versus like 50 something with the magic sword. Second phase, now you got some fire. You're embered. Oh, 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 that's, yeah, okay. Fair, fair. That was unexpected. That was going a lot longer than I thought it would be. I don't know if this is a lady, Michael. I think it's a, a man. Or it used to be. It consumed souls, and last time I saw it, it was a big blob monster. Now it's something different in this fight. It's very... I don't know what. So far it's not terrible, though. I just gotta get to it and learn its attacks. When it got to that second phase, that rain of arrows seemed to last a lot longer. Okay, this is bad. Okay. You want to kill one of them before the other one gets in there. I hope your night is going okay. I don't want to bring up too much stuff here on the, the chat and everything, but I just hope everything's going okay. Let's 
try to do this a little bit better. Ooh. Mistimed that hole. Okay, so this is why you don't want two of them. Maybe I'll try sticking to the magic sword on them before switching to fire. Thank you very much for coming by, Michael. I appreciate it. Put that on. I'm just out of curiosity. If I get rid of that. So I can alternate between these two and still be at the good speed. Bad. This is bad. <sighs> you, you gotta kill one before the other one gets in there. Oh. <sighs> how this goes for me. Okay, there. One dead. Okay. Oh, that's got a big wind up with two hands. Okay. 
Hmm. I was hoping that I had uh, cut off that attack, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. Whew, okay, that's fine. That is just a very nasty attack. So, Michael, I don't know if you're still there or just kind of lurking, but... How... I know you've not really played the Souls games, but have you watched a lot of them, like Dark Souls 1, by any chance? Okay, because the, the, the body there, the human shape on this boss, it looks very familiar. It reminds me of a character from Dark Souls 1. I just wasn't sure if that meant anything to you or not. And we can leave that as is. Is that a fat roll? No. Okay, phase two, now you're embered. And I can't get close to you. So, how is this going to work? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Run. Run. Run, 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 run. Uh, bad, 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 bad.
Ah, uh, this is not good. I... <laughs> not enough time. And yes, this is a... A more direct sequel to Dark Souls 1 than Dark Souls 2 was. We are actually in a place from Dark Souls 1. Anyway, the face there reminds me of Gwendolyn. In particular, that mask. Oh, Gwendolyn was raised a girl, but this is Aldridge, and I don't think that translates to whatever gender they might be. Yeah, and with Gwendolyn being from this area and somebody coming in and consuming them, so to speak. Yeah, this went bad. Yes, this is Anna Londo. No, it's definitely a lot less golden. It's very different from how you might remember it in Dark Souls 1. The place we are fighting, Aldridge, is actually where we fought Ornstein and Smo in the first game. The the two the duo there, the Burton Ernie. Snorlax and Pikachu. Yeah, it's, it's very different without the sunlight. Everything's decaying. Oh no, that's Guinevere. Gwendolyn is the other one. So... The one that made the illusions. This is terrible. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I have real good fights against these guys, and sometimes they just are pains in the butt. Yeah, Gwendolyn was essentially keeping up the illusion of what Anorlando was and you go into their hidden chamber and you can face off against them and it's the the endless hallway Oh okay when that happens. Could you imagine starting an LP and then just not finishing it? Couldn't couldn't be me. <clears throat> I know how that can be sometimes though. But my goal here is no loose ends. No more loose ends.
I'm tempted to try and run past these guys, but it's, I just, there's so much in that one little hallway there. I didn't see any summons now, and this game is dead, so there's no human players anymore. <laughs> but I think I got it. I just need to do it. I have eight Estus flasks, and I'm budgeting to use one before the boss fight. So I'm really just trying to get a good, good setup here on getting to that point. I don't want to use one on these guys and then use one later on. So like I said, sometimes I got good fights and sometimes I, I have bad ones. did not go through. We'll have to use one. Yeah, yeah. I believe it did, although you were never... You had choices in how that game ended. Presumably, one of those choices is canon. The thing about the story in these games is it's very vague. There's a lot of things that are open to interpretation. So, I would say that things mattered. You just it's not exactly 100% clear on what takes place all the time. We don't even know how far ahead in time we are compared to Dark Souls 1. And I do believe that there was essentially a suggestion that there were multiple timelines or like a multiverse type of deal with these games to explain why there's multiple players going through stuff and the characters showing up in different places over time why you see like the ghosts and blood stains and messages it's like we're all in different versions of a world.
Okay, second phase. I cannot get my bearings here. I was not expecting you to do that like three times in a row. Okay, we're doing not bad. Problem is I'm now out of Estus. Please, 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 please. No! I think it counted, though. It counted, I think. I don't know what <laughs> I may have broken the game. We'll see. It appears I'm getting teleported, though. Well, <laughs> okay. So... <laughs> There's that. Okay. Please be kind to me. Okay, that's one nice clean fight. Got it done before this jerkwad showed up. Oh, bye. Okay, so what stinks about that is all the souls I got from that boss fight are gone. But, you know, it is what it is. I don't even know how many souls that was.
I beat the boss and I then can't even get back to where the boss was. We'll do it. That's not terrible. I just... I guess I'll try to YOLO it and see how that works for me. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do now. It's just, they chase you. They're fast, they got a good reach there, and there's the enemies in the hallway that are also of concern. So I'm going to try and bait this one down the stairs. And that did not work out. Still not working out. Try that again. My intention was to get this one further down the stairs so I could then run past both of them without them ganging up on me. Like so. Okay, could have been worse. Anyway, you were asking about the balcony. There it is. So, we have the elevators that are working. I'm pretty sure everything's the same, it's just retextured. It shouldn't be any higher or lower than the other game. I'm just seeing if there's anything. And then this is where Guinevere was. <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. Sun Princess Ring. So, I'm gonna remove that and I'm gonna put back my bow. How gradually are we talking? Is the problem. So I guess we're not really venturing through much of. And Orlando. I th There's nowhere else to go, I guess. Because that's the dead end there. There was a door that I couldn't open, and maybe it's just actually meant to stay closed. Let's travel back. So I don't know what to make of the cutscene there, because it made me, it like, it showed me vanishing like I was being teleported somewhere, but then we died. I don't know if I broke something or not. 
But we have Aldridge's cinders. I just have to find which one was. got to offer now. Looks like just one? <laughs> Unless there's something further down. Yeah, right here. Okay. Dark Moon Longbow. Oh, well, the problem with that is I think I'm at another dead end, so... Let me try to look something up, I guess, because I do not know where to go next. Ah, uh huh, okay. All right, I see. I'm I'm reading what it said happened there. If it's the third Lord of Cinder I've defeated, which it is, a cutscene will play and I'll be transported to the High Wall of Lothric. So had I not died, that's where I would have been. That's where I would have shown up. So now we know that. But there is one other thing to do here before we... Yeah, yeah, it's the first area that in the game that we, we journey off to. Got a little confusing there with the the dying, then the cutscene, then the loading, then I die, and then loading again. But I did... Note something over here. I don't know how well I can see it from this point or, or not. But yeah, okay, you can see it over there. There's a little orange glow on the outside of that tower there. I was not sure how we get to that. And apparently you just... There's an invisible platform that you walk across. So I want to give that a shot. Uh... Okay, this is scary. Oh, in Outer Wilds, I think I'm... I think I'm looking at the end game. I don't want to say too much more than that. Well, I'll be darned. You look familiar. Name thyself, stranger. I am Yoshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckoned thee to such a place? Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. journeyed far hear my voice if 
if thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the dark moon. now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. So that's access to another covenant. Oh, if I can provide thee succor. Long ago, our father Gwyn, lamenting the waning of the fire, became cinder of his own will. Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. Such is the will of Father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who link the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day, until the time of thy visit. Erdem taketh many forms, indeed. May I pose thee a question? This tower, this prison, stands tall and solitary, the contraption bridging its lower reaches long unmoving. So, by what path didst thou here ascend? I walked on an invisible platform. Art thou a creature of the air? Or other winged thing? Oh, I don't know what the answer is to, to that. Obviously, the answer is we cannot fly. To some degree, no, of course not. You, like they talk much and it sounds like it's in a conversation we're not a part of. I mean, we are voiceless. We don't talk or anything. I know very little of anything. Long ago, our father now sat at only air to off so soon may the dark moon watch it. But it still serves a purpose. So I was saying she looks familiar because I'm reminded of half-breed Priscilla, who was half dragon, half human, which had a very similar appearance to Yorshka. I don't know what Yorshka's story is, but it's a curious one. gotten here. Painting Guardians Curved Sword. Painting Guardians were from Dark Souls 1. Just drop down carefully little by little. Ooh, Painting Guardians set. Trying to make sure I don't miss any goodies. Also, I don't want to fall too far, too fast, too furious. And I'm having trouble seeing where the next safe landing is here. This is a little... Oh boy, I'm going to try... Thank goodness. And 
then a little bit of this. Whew. It don't make it easy on you. And this is the bottom. Just roll into some walls and see if there's anything to find. And now how does this connect? Irithyll of the Boreal Valley. Okay. Church of Yorshka. That's where I've heard that name. So we get teleported to the High Wall of Lothric. She looks like Zelda. It's the ears, isn't it? Oh! Was... I, it's been a while since I've been here. I don't remember the sky looking like this, but I could be wrong. Just double checking because this is where we first teleport into this area. So I just wanted to backtrack a little bit to see if there was any difference there. So what am I to do? Do I just go through again? I mean, there's the dragon there, or Wyvern. I could try killing that. I've got arrows now. I guess I'll just run through and see what what comes about. I'm much stronger than I once was. So this hopefully won't be terrible for me. I say as I get my ass handed to me. But I guess we'll just do a little run through of this area and see if there's something else that has come about that I don't know of. I haven't been to this area in three years. But I'm pretty sure the sky did not look like this. already lost.
I mean, not lost, I just wanting to make sure that this is in fact a dead end. There's the rubble here that I can't go up. I mean, there's places that I can check out, so. This was a shortcut I opened up that I could explore. Let me try the other pathway instead of doing that. I don't want to take a shortcut through anything because I'm trying to see if there's something I'm supposed to find that's different now. And I don't trust none of this. This is, yeah, a dead, dead dragon. Oh, I didn't kill you. Almost did. you kill everything for me there. So we're going to try killing this dragon. might take a while. moving every time I try to shoot you. I was hoping that like a headshot would be more damaging. Safe here. Okay, that's good. Not as much damage, but seems to be a little bit more consistent at least, where I don't have to keep trying to time things.
I got a large Titanite shard. Where, where are you, where? Oh. Okay, so I don't get to kill it, I just get to piss it off. Raw gem. So yeah, I, I'm i just trying to see what there is to do in this area that would bring me back four. And we had not dealt with that enemy before. So maybe that's something. Got you. Just shy of getting to kill some of these guys in one hit. And so this is that doorway over there. Is the. Uh, we'd be out in front of the dragon again. Down here, I think the only thing was a mimic. Yeah, the dragon guards something, essentially, where there was some items that we could pick up and a pathway, like getting through this into this tower from that direction, which we had already kind of dealt with all that stuff already, but I just didn't know if there was something else to discover by actually chasing the dragon off, as it were. So you could run through there, and then come over here, and out this way. Oh. And then here is a bonfire. Carefully, methodically, seeing what there is to chip away at here. Forgot about that ambush. But one thing I definitely didn't forget is that one of these guys up ahead turns into like a big scary monster. Before I go out that way, I do want to explore downward a little bit more. And this is the elevator shortcut. mistaken. This is not the elevator shortcut.
I was mistaken. The elevator shortcut is somewhere else. Because there is no up for me to come into this room from. I think this area was where we fought a dark wraith. Yep. Not so tough now. Being permanently sneaky is really good. I don't think you were here for it, Michael, but I'm wearing a ring that conceals my footsteps. I'm making no noise when I walk or run. And this is where Grey Rat was. Who I have not seen in a while. Starting to get concerned that I did something wrong. So now we will go in the other direction. I think it's this one with the head down. Or... If it was one of them, that I don't think they're active anymore. I think I killed them. Okay. So there's that. I want to try doing something potentially stupid here. Okay, that worked. But for what purpose? I guess none. That's all that ambush. Good. Go on that ledge and go down. walked in the fire and was taking some damage there. I don't think I can backstab this guy. He's too big. My damage output's a lot better than it once was. I 
feel like I missed an area. I do still hear guys walking around somewhere. This is why I was hearing guys walking around somewhere, because this is the area. So far, nothing. I wonder if it had to do with the bosses in this area. Okay. So this is... Yeah, there's that one and down at the other end. So let me actually just run down here and get this bonfire. And then we can play around in this section and see what's up. This might... Oh, I wonder... There's a boss in this section that I was once upon a time getting summoned to fight, and I had no idea how you were even supposed to get to them in your own game. Maybe that's what this is all for now. Maybe it's time to fight that boss. Stab, but that's fine. The shields are a pain in the butt. Get a backstab on you, please. There we go. That's beautiful. I'm getting, like, no souls, but has to be expected for this point in the game. here. Oh, this is different. I think we're fighting this boss now. Prince Lothric is in your hands. She was the one talking to us. She must have summoned us here. Basin of Vows. Uh, key item? Yeah. Place at the statue of a beheading knight. I didn't do anything. Okay, uh, definitely dancer time. Oh, yeah. Okay, good news. I have a lot of experience fighting this boss. Bad news. I have a lot of experience dying to this boss. Ooh. 
Okay. I don't like this. Please tell me, okay, it's not terrible. What is terrible is how much magic this uses up. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, wow, okay. That's all right. The magic doesn't seem too bad. Whew, I just got to be careful because the dancer has a very long reach. Good thing I used that bonfire. I wish I could go through the whole game this strong. Just absolutely devastating everything in my path. It feels so good to do that. So I think I want to try and see what the damage is between these two weapons. Okay, so 377 for the soul spear. I got grabbed. Holy crap! One oh three for that. You just remember one oh three. We're not going to get a lot of time to experiment in each of these fights. I have a feeling I don't want to get up close in the first place. but I just do want to check. So that's comparable, I would say. Uh, I think I'm going to see if I can summon in this section, because this is a rough boss to do solo. I think there's NPCs, I just don't know if they're gone now, or if they stick around for this fight. Uh, 
Oh, there's a summon sign. Okay. Oh, it's a human player. That's actually very good. Okay, I thought you were dead, and I don't know how I managed to kick there. I didn't... Okay. So, hello. Where's my gestures? using an Estus before that. And... Yeah, let's just go for it. Let's get all of the friends. I, I'm actually surprised that I'm finding people. I didn't think that was still a thing. I tried doing some multiplayer yesterday and I found nobody to work with. Double chug there. Oh, I've caught on something. Okay, we should be getting to the second phase. Yep, you got both swords out now, and you are super scary. Uh, one, one's dead. I'm about to die. Oh, for crying out loud. Sir Gallen. That's all Sir Gallen's fault. Maybe I should try a faster magic. For some summon signs. I've fought this dancer many, many times. I have no guilt behind trying to do it this way. Just 
just hope I will see summon signs again. I'll come up behind you on the other side. Or maybe I'll get this guy first and see. Goody. Sir Gallon again. We'll try it with two people, I guess, because then there will not scale as much. Just looking down there, no summon sign. Okay, so now we'll go in. Just the two of us. Yeah, I get a lot more mileage out of this than I do that Soul Spear. You leave Sir Gallon alone for a moment. Here we go. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Okay. Good. Very good. Very good. This worked out much better. There we go. Whew. So that's why I like the co-op aspect of these games. Is sometimes these enemies are a real pain to just have them focused on you the whole time. And being able to work with somebody that can draw their attention for a moment is very helpful. I don't think I want to level up, to be honest. That was a player, for sure. Sir Gallen. And so was um, Siren. So shoutouts to both of them. They tried their hardest. But yeah, when if you can just keep pulling back and forth on an enemy's attention like that, it gives you opportunities to recover. Welcome home. Very no, it's... Then taken. It counts as them just doing, like, the cooperation. So they do get souls for that. I guess I can do one more there. I will level up. Most of these people would have already killed the boss themselves, I think.
But I remember I was trying to get summoned in this area to help other people with a boss in the other side of this area where the other bonfire is. And I was getting summoned and they were running up here and I was like, oh my God, there's another boss. And I, it's not an easy boss. No, no, very few bosses have been easy bosses. So we place the basin here. So if there is still activity in these areas, then maybe I will try to get some help other people. Because that's good for some Covenant stuff. The Sun Bros. And you can get a good amount of souls that way too. Be wary of God, always. Ah, night. So now we're higher up in this cathedral. Enemy ahead. Does not open on the side. <laughs> I guess it's a very good enemy ahead this way. Oh. I'm so quiet that the enemy doesn't even see me. Ah, uh, one more shot. Thank you. How about that? <laughs> That's a nice death right there. So we have an elevator. Okay. Before I take that elevator, I want to explore what other areas or what other paths there were up this way. Ooh, summon. Turin MG. I don't even know where I'm going yet, so. So we have that direction and this direction. You bastard ahead. Fog wall ahead. It is, in fact, not. Hey, that's not fair. I'm s I'm quiet for a reason. Oh, I, is this cheese?
Oh, it's definitely cheese. Whatever you're doing. Are we good? I think we're okay. I hear something big, but I see nothing. There. Oh. Two of them. Cheese. This game can be unfair. I will be unfair in return. Traption does not move, so we gotta get that from the other side. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay today in terms of progress. Okay, one at a time. Just got to figure out what places I want to go. So we had the elevator down, which I can return to, but this is continuing along. I want the sword. Give me the sword. And 
then this drops down. Okay. So that's like a one-way shortcut back. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do this then. And we will check out that elevator downward. been streaming for what two and a half hours so far I think I will go not too much longer what we're looking at here. Oh, oh, okay. I don't like that, but I did see this. I don't want to jump off on my way up, though. And... Not too bad. Consumed King's Garden. This is a new place. Sure. Estes Char, very nice. So that was a smart move. By coming out at that spot, as opposed to coming out below, I'm able to get some cheap shots on this. There's a goodie. Tight night chunks I need those, baby. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we got I think this is poison. Well, I don't like any of this. I think I won't go there just yet. I'm, I'm being indecisive because everything's scary. Mm. Yeah, we can just go down and teleport to the other bonfire.
here. Lothric Castle. I don't immediately see a bonfire for that other area. It might be a little further on, but I also do not like those monstrosities. Ugh. And I guess if I'm not going to go in there, then I don't need my fire sword right now. Let's switch back. And I, this was just a jump back down, right? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. So we keep on, keep it on. I hear something big. You say that, but you are correct. It really looks like one though. We got the prayer robes. Titanite chunk. Good, we're in the Titanite chunk area now. I'm very glad that's happening. Chunkier. What? Oh, oh, there's a guy. Okay. Oh, there's two guys. Okay, now can we take a moment to actually look at what the hell... Oh, they're gone now. No, there's... Okay. Do you see this? It's like nerve endings in the form of like a bird or dragon or something. I'm either a very bad shot or you can't do anything with them. Oh! I saw the, the thing there. I just didn't register with me that it would be an enemy. I guess I don't actually see... Like, this looks like I could land on it, but it doesn't look like I could go anywhere from there. So maybe I can't land on it. Right, let's take a peek in here. I think I found what's making that noise.
Holy crap. Um. Yeah, I sure as shit died there, game. Yeah, you got that one right. Went nuclear on me. Okay. I want to try and get the backstab on you. Oh, never mind. I thought you were going back up the stairs. There's you, you little sneaky bean. Open to kind of oh, I did not want things to go like that, but over like that. You drop down. You have no idea what's going on, so I can backstab you. Get a couple more hits in. There we go. It's... Like I said, it looks like nerve endings in the form of a bird or dragon or something. There's a bunch of them. a little bit unsettling. It's almost like the... I want to say they're dragons, because it looks like there's legs. And... It's almost like they died, but they are immortal, so they came back to life. <laughs> Winged Knight set. This is a nice picture. Sacred Bloom Shield. That's death. This is death. 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 And back. Just want to make sure there's nothing else up here. No. Oh, what was that? You threw something at me. That's mean. Oh, you did it again. Who? From whence? Oh, 
Oh, oh, okay. So what I was being hit with was preventing me from using my Estus flasks. That's very Bloodborne. Yeah, a lot of things in this game, like the monstrosities and the big enemies, they definitely... Not that I've played Bloodborne yet or anything, but I've seen, you know, the pictures and stuff, and there's just... They definitely get real ugly and nasty with things. Chunkers alive again, so that wasn't a one off. So, oh, I see you now. Okay. Can I get a shot on you? Oh, real nice shot, actually. Oh, you got me. That's right, we can sit here and be very careful. While we wait for this to wear off. Good. going very nicely. Turn my back on you. That wasn't intended, but... Ooh, more Titanite chunks. Good. Oh, I saw you jumping. Chipping along. I don't think there's anybody on that wall. You are unalive. Oh, hello. Oh.
How does this work? Oh, that was so lucky. <laughs> Just wanted to check if there was some access to whatever is up here. I cannot get too good of a view, but I definitely saw a big weapon. And I was worrying that somebody's going to try and ambush me. You see that? On fire. I will take it. Take an ember. Heal up. There's an item. Got a little bit more of a view. Ha ha ha. So how are you going to come after me, huh? Looks like you can't get to me or you forgot about me. Uh, alright, we'll leave that how that be. That's very much an alive wyvern. I don't see anything else that I want to poke my head into right now. So we'll take this as a victory. We will go back to Firelink Shrine. And I will wrap a couple things up here and then please join me for a little bit of a raid before we call it a night very helpful to me to find somebody. Ah, just what need. So now we should be up to nine. That's good. And let me see. I now have five total, so I can get this up another level. I'm gonna do that, because that's just the t uh, large shards. That's chunks. That's chunks. Uh... Draw a store of sword. Where's that crystal rapier? Am I overlooking it? There it is. That scales which we do not have enough of. Ah. 
We'll purchase some things, spend this money down a little bit. Buy some more fancy equipment that I don't actually need, but I also kind of want. There we are. Always feels better to... to fight with a low... low risk in losing a lot of stuff. So there we go. That feels pretty good to me. So we'll go ahead and call it a night. A very productive night, if you ask me. Killed two bosses. Got through a couple areas there. Found a covenant. Did all kinds of fun stuff. And we did it all with only 733 dropped frames. So my internet held out pretty good tonight. I'm gonna tell you that I love you, and hopefully I will see you this Saturday for more of this. Maybe even sooner, because I am eager to get through this game, but it's very hard for me to make and keep plans, apparently, because I can't even get through one day a week for streaming without something happening there. But thank you very much for hanging out with me. Hopefully we will be getting some more of this done in the future. Soon. So I love ya. Bye-bye.